Hello everybody, this is Ilona and I'm here to show you my projects that I made for the super sweet birthday challenge from Sabrina Ann and this is her last challenge and I um, I promised her that I would enter and I always like to keep my promises but this time I'm cutting it really close because tomorrow is the deadline and I had so much trouble with this challenge the colors are not my favorites and uh, I wanted to make a card and well <clears throat> it's actually all things that are not uh, really things that I um, that are easy for me to make so <clears throat> this is what I came up with and um, Sabrina I hope you like them um, I actually um, smashed two cupcakes before this one to a pulp because it was not working out and I envisioned something quite different but this will have to do so what I did was I used since we had to use uh, pink and lavender or purple um, those are not colors that I I have much in my uh, stash so actually the the material that I made my cupcake from is from a, a children's coat and I cut out a piece of uh, fabric and used that to make the cupcake it's really pale pink color and there's some I don't know if you can see that try to get it so you can see there's a little sparkle it does not show up very well I used an ice cream cups and I bought those especially for this challenge because that's another thing I was having trouble with the cupcake she showed was made with this um, dye I think and you also can do it on your own but I do not have a scoreboard this mine are always crooked so after the first try I thought this is not going to work out I lined the cup with a piece of lace that I glued all around and then, and then I used pearl pins to stick the flowers in on top I used another piece of lace cut four of these kind of leafy ones out and glue them on top with a small rose and I used up all the little pink and um, purple ones so I needed another color on top and I actually like it because it pops so um, that's for the cupcake. I, I was debating with myself whether or not to just forget about the cupcake at all. But um, since I worked on it so hard <laughs> trying to get something done, uh, I am going to show it. I also made a stick pin. I'm going to get it out to show it. This is my stick pin. Uh, okay. I get the cupcake out of the way so it can focus and I started with this uh, crystal top and then I have this sparkling bead in purple lavender purple and underneath there is this cute little flower in a lavender and underneath there a purple bead 
So that's my stick pin. So this is the card I made. And cards are also not really my thing. So that was kind of a, a challenge as well. Uh, Sabrina asked us to make a card with um, something sweet on it. And I do not have many stamps. And I certainly do not have stamps with something sweet on it. So I had to come up with something else. And this is what I came up with. What I did. I, I'm, I'm currently in the, in the process of um, redoing my scrap room. Actually I've been doing that for some time now. But I'm still at it. And at the moment there were lots of things packed. So I had limited supplies to work with. So I used my stamp. This uh, is a stamp that I have to make my background paper. So this this background is the same stamp as this one and I have this one in reverse as well and that's this stamp. So the one gives only polka dots and this one gives uh, the whole background and leaves the polka dots white. So here I used a blue uh, stamp pad. Here I used a pink stamp pad. This is a die that I used and this one I drew by hand to uh, the cream on top. The seam binding I colored with broken china. I just rubbed it on my, on my ribbon and then uh, I made it all wet and crinkly. So it uh, the 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 ink spread out pretty much evenly, and then I uh, used my heat gun to uh, to dry it. So the crinkles stayed in. Put a little rose on top of it with a flatback pearl, and all the way on the top there's my uh, the lace that I got from Germany. That's it, and on the inside I finished it off again with the blue uh, stamping and a strip of the lavender stamped on there. So that's the card. And then I made a charm. Okay. So this is Maybe the second or the third time I made a charm, and I'm, I think I'm making progress. <laughs> um, okay, I had this old earring that was broken that I wanted to include. It's pink, and that's actually on the longer strand at the bottom, and then I. Put on some. Ew, there. Some different dangles here. So this one, this one I made myself from some beads in my stash, and those two came off some clothing, I think. Do not remember. Um it's all tangled up here. I have this acrylic bubble that I hung on there. This was a piece that was already like this. It was from a bracelet, I think. It has a, a coin across and some kissing lips and then I have this metal flower that came from a earring glued this uh, rolled ribbon rose on top and I think that turned out pretty cute then I have this little 
Eiffel Tower that I found, and this was a. Oh, that's that the long strand was a piece of a necklace, the end of a necklace, and this one was hanging on there. So, um, uh, I mean, there was something hanging on on there, and I just put on this bead and this heart, and it's all dangling from a little lobster clasp that was the end of the necklace so that's my little charm so these are my projects for Sabrina's challenge and Sabrina thank you so much for all your uh, inspiration all these years and um, I hope everything goes well with the baby and I hope to see you soon again with some crafting projects. So um, have a great time and thank you so much for everything. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.